OpenAI Orion coming this December. Google Gemini 2.0 coming this December. Google is preparing Project Harvest to control computers. Microsoft released Omni Parser. Again, this is for controlling computer using graphical user interface. It can identify elements from a page more clearly than any other models. Runway ML, expression generation from acting. Introducing analysis tool from Cloud AI, where you can generate code and run your code. Mid Journey image editor with retexturing features, modifying materials, surfacing and lighting. A new model called Mochi, which is able to create videos from text. Ideogram canvas, where you are able to magically fill and integrate multiple images in a canvas. Stable Diffusion 3.5. Melody music generation and editing model from Facebook and much more to cover. But before that, I regularly create videos in regards to artificial intelligence on my YouTube channel. So do subscribe and click the bell icon to stay tuned. Make sure you click the like button so this video can be helpful for many others like you. OpenAI plans to release its next big AI model by December. The next model is Orion. It's slated to arrive around two year anniversary of ChatGPT. This is going to be more advanced model than O1 preview. Google plans to announce its next Gemini model soon. The next major model is Gemini 2.0. December is shaping up to be a month of dueling announcements from OpenAI and Google. At the same time, Google is preparing Project Arvis, an AI program that takes over computers to help with everyday web tasks. There might be more repeated tasks which you can automate. This is same like cloud computer use. Now we get competition in regards to computer use. Now in the same topic with computer use, we have Microsoft releasing OmniParser for pure vision based GUI agent. This is an AI agent which is able to analyze every element in a web page or a mobile phone as you can see here. This is a mobile phone and you get the elements. So using this information, it's able to perform action more accurately than before. You have PowerPoint slides here, web page, and similarly, we got many other pages. And here is an example. Save to my trips a restaurant in Johannesburg with vegan options. So with that task, it's identifying the elements from the page, asking to click the elements. Now it's browsing through, going through the search bar, identifying the type, typing the things, clicking the search results. Again, it's identifying the elements clicking vegan option, and now it's able to identify as per the question we asked. Finally, task completed. You can see the performance is much better than other visual parsers. The orange is Omni Parser, and you have the code available in github.com. Let me know in the comments below if you want a tutorial dedicated for this. In the same topic for controlling devices, we have Ferret UI from Apple. They also releasing another paper for the same task analyzing elements from a mobile phone and able to perform action, which means even from your mobile phone in the very near future, you should be able to ask it to do a multiple task at the same time with just text prompt. That is super exciting. So in the future, I believe all our devices will be controlled by AI with just voice prompt. Next from Runway ML, introducing Act 1, which means you are able to act and using that action, you are able to animate a cartoon. As you can see here, this is just a pure animation, but by a person acting on another screen. It's like you're providing an image on one screen and you are acting on another screen. Then the image will automatically animate with your lip sync. Exactly. Even with your expressions added. That is going to be amazing. And this will be coming soon. Next, we have analysis tool from cloud.ai. So when you log into cloud.ai, in the feature preview settings, you can activate that by clicking this icon. So once after you activate, let's go to a new chat, adding a file, that is a CSV file with football data. I'm going to say, analyze the data and plot a chart. Now you can see analyzing, it's writing the code to understand what it is. Generally for ChatGPT, it uses Python, but for this, it is not using Python. And after analyzing, it's writing the code for us to display as a chart. And here is the chart. Top performing teams by points per match. 
and this chart is interactive. Next, we have image editing option by just uploading a file into mid journey. Then we can erase elements like this. Then you can ask it to fill a dog wearing a party hat. Now based on that, now it's generating the party hat, which you can see here. And now you can modify or change accordingly. You can even add a dress to the dog by just modifying the prompt and selecting that particular area. It's a color sweater and you can see the image got changed. You can upscale to gallery or you can download that image. Now we have another image which we are going to modify by just choosing the area which you want to edit. Now we can extend this image further as well. Now giving a prompt with modern house. Now accordingly, it's modifying the remaining part of the image. This is super exciting. Next we have Mochi One, the best open source video generation model. You can see unmatched motion quality. Then you have superior prompt adherence. It generates consistent fluid human action and expression. And you can see the video, it's really stunning and more realistic. And 100% these old videos are created using AI and nothing is recorded. You can imagine where the Hollywood films are going to be after a few years. Next, we have Ideogram Canvas, where you can upload an image and you are able to magically fill items in that image. You can change the text in that canvas. You can even ask it to change the font with different types. Then same as Mid Journey, you are able to select a portion of the image and ask it to change and it's going to change it for you as you can see here with multiple versions. Also, you can extend like this. Next, you can add different elements such as adding one image over another image. You can merge between images as you can see here. You can merge between different images like choosing only two images as you can see here then asking it to connect them like extending. Now that image is going to extend itself and integrate it with another image. Similarly, you are able to add styles and text over another image. Next, we have LM Studio, the latest release with headless mode. It works same like Olama, which means you start this headless mode and you are able to integrate this with any application. It also support MLX. Next, we have Stable Diffusion 3.5 and the images are getting beautiful day by day. You have three different versions. One is 3.5 large, large turbo and medium. And you can see stunning images with high quality. Even the text, you are able to get it with more accuracy. Here is a comparison chart. Stable Diffusion Large 3.5 in regards to prompt adherence and quality. Still Flux Dev is better in regards to quality. But apart from that, this model is beating every other model in regards to image generation. Next, Facebook Meta is introducing Melody Flow, text guided music generation and editing. They released the paper here. They have clearly explained how they achieved this. Here you can provide a prompt and generate the music. Similarly, provide an audio and ask it to edit. And based on that, it's going to edit it for you. That's all for now. Considering you already like artificial intelligent news, there are still more which I covered previously, which I highly recommend for you to watch, which I will link that here and I will see you there.